took a chance on a good thing Yeah, now I got you on my right wing Making love, now it's casual And you text me in the morning, you're available Am I, am I dreaming? Can't believe I forgot this feeling Finally found the one Today I'm gonna be doing a week of workouts. I am very aware that my body is not like big booty muscular, but you know what? That's why I'm filming this because one day I'm gonna have a big butt and I'm gonna look back at this video and be like, wow, I really did that. But yeah, today is a workout video. I'm excited. I have held off on this video for so long because I don't have a big butt, but I'm done with the excuses. We're gonna do it for the content. And now the train is passing by. So I like to work out five days a week, usually Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays are my leg days, or at least lower body. Tuesdays are back and by days and thursdays are shoulder days but today is monday so we're gonna be doing lower body let me show you guys what i'm wearing today here is my little outfit of the day today i am wearing these shorts which i actually got these on amazon super cute i love how they make my ass look because number one look at that okay i have no ass okay i know but you cannot lie this makes me look like i have a round tush and then on top of that like this also is like a v which i think is super cute i'm also wearing the sports bra which is also from amazon i need to show you guys how the back of the sports bra looks like but this is also a jacket that i also got on amazon so this whole outfit actually is amazon i have it linked down below as for my shoes just gonna wear my new balances they make me look like a dad but that's okay i'm practicing my suburban housewife you know aesthetics before i get this video started i do want to mention that yes physical movement for your body is so good for you good for your mental health physical health but if you really want to see your body transform diet is also very important making sure you're eating balanced meals having a lot of protein make sure you do your research working out is not the only thing that's going to transform your body diet is super important oh and also if you're a workout newbie this is the channel for you i am also a workout newbie so hopefully you guys find a community within this channel anyways let's go have a good workout leg and glute day i have a love and hate relationship with this day because honestly i feel so freaking strong during leg days but sometimes it's also a mental game because there are times i don't want to do the workout my brain just doesn't want to anyways i like to start off doing stair masters. I do level 10 for 10 minutes. This is how I get my blood pumping. This is how I get my glute activated. And this is how I get more sweaty, which helps me get more motivated for my next workout. So typically I like to do hip thrusts first to get that big juicy ass, but today the gym was freaking packed. So we have to do some squats. Every single squat machine was probably taken up. So instead we did the free motion squat machine, which actually nobody ever really uses this machine. So it's usually always free. Me and my friends like to call this the roller coaster. Going on a roller coaster. For this machine, I like to do three sets of 12. I don't usually do like 10 reps. Instead, I like to do 12 or at least a number higher than 10 because honestly, when you do just 10, I feel like you're not even really pushing yourself. Wow, you're so strong. <laughs> if you're someone that has a lot of gym anxiety, my biggest tip is to go work out with your friends. Not only do they push you, but they also keep you accountable. It gets you to actually show up. And in my opinion, that means so much more than not showing up. When I tell you guys, I used to have such bad gym anxiety that when I would show up to the gym, I would just go straight home. Like I wouldn't even go inside the building. So thank God for my besties. Moving on to hip abductors. I love using this machine. I feel like this has really helped my booty grow. Okay, so it's hard to explain this one, but I like to do three sets of 30. And I know that sounds crazy, but I like to do this as a drop set. So after I do 10 reps, I like to drop the weight, do another 10 reps, drop the weight, and do another 10 reps. And that's because I like to work until failure. I'm trying to make this booty burn. And if you actually want to see muscle growth, you really have to work your muscles until failure. Moving on, we're going to do some hip thrusts. Dude, you've gotten so strong. <laughs> oh my god. This is so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> the power is within you. You are your worst enemy. If I was to choose one workout that probably grew my butt the most, my little butt the most, it's probably hip thrust. Freaking love doing this workout, even though it's so freaking mentally scary. I literally feel like the strongest girl in the world. For this workout, we're gonna do the 10 10 10 rule. So you don't wanna wait, that's too freaking crazy heavy. But the 10 10 10 rule means you're gonna do 10 hip thrusts, then you're gonna move on to 10 cast glute bridges, then you're gonna do a 10 second hold. This makes my butt burn so good. <laughs> 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 the 
the last workout we're gonna do today are some RDLs. I like to do a glute focus RDL because I feel like this really helps me grow my glute. In recent days, I've learned that it's really been helpful, but in the past, I had no idea how to do it. I feel like this is one of the hardest workouts to get down because form is so important, but form is also so hard to get. But you know what? Practice makes perfect. Anyways, that's all for this leg and glute focus workout. Of course, don't forget to stretch before and after your workout. Not only is it good for you, but it honestly feels so good. Today is a back and by day. I love back and by days. Think about seeing this grow just makes me so happy and it feels so good when it's like rock hard, getting, you know, a little pump in. It's probably because I'm a stick, so I love feeling my muscles grow. But let me show you guys what I'm wearing today. Here is today's fit. I am wearing my pink Arola shorts. I got these on Amazon. This sports bra is actually also Arola, so I will link it in my Amazon storefront. And then I'm wearing my new balances, but I love this outfit so much. Wearing white and pink makes me so happy. Anyways, let's Let's go and have a good workout. Moving on, we're gonna do a little back and by. First thing I like to do is use this little stick and stretch out my back. This feels amazing. I only just started doing this recently and I will never go back. Like this makes my back crack like crazy. Anyways, moving on, we're gonna do a little seated cable row machine. I like to do three sets of 12. I think back has to be my favorite muscle to work out. I used to love working my legs and glutes, but now it's really my back and by. I actually only really started doing upper body workouts about three months ago, which explains explains why I have literally no back definition. <laughs> That's actually so funny. Anyways, the next workout is some lap pull downs. I actually love doing this workout so much. For this, I either like to do three sets of 12 or I like to do a little drop set moment. So do 10, drop the weight, do another 10 and do that three times. When I first started doing back, it was actually really difficult for me to target that muscle. I had no idea how to do it, but in recent days, I've really figured it out. So I'm proud of myself. This is gonna be our last back workout, but this is some lat push downs. I just learned how to do this recently and this one feels really good too i actually learned this from my gym crowd he has like a really nice back anyways i feel pretty accomplished doing this now we're gonna move on to some bicep disclaimer i literally look like such a noob doing these but at least i feel it but for this workout we're gonna do a hammer curl and superset that with a cross body curl and i do this for three sets doing bicep also makes me so happy because i'm starting to see a little bit of definition moving on we're gonna do a regular bicep curl for 10 drop set it so do another 10 with a lower weight and i like to do this for three sets and that's it for my back and bye day Biceps on 10. Yeah, we are going home. So today is a glute focus day. I am so freaking scared right now, but let's go and have a good workout. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing today. Don't mind the shoes. I'm gonna wear my Converse's. Today, I'm wearing this sports bra. Actually, this is a training bra from the kids section at Target, but as you guys know, I have no boobs. So these are really good for working out because they're cute and small. Also, my pink bag is from Shein, but then I'm wearing my Arola shorts again. These ones are in baby blue, super popular. I see everyone wear these ones, but they're so cute. Anyways, let's go and have a good workout. So today I'm gonna take a little bit of pre-workout. I love taking energy drinks or pre-workout when I'm doing any lower body workout. This really just gets me pumping, gives me energy. And honestly, it's just been making me go ape shit. I love it. Anyways, we're gonna start off with stair masters as always for lower body. As you guys know, I love getting in a good sweat for lower body days. Stair masters honestly be humbling me. Today, my gym partner was my brother, Anthony. He thought it was a good idea to let me spa him, which I don't know why. I think my brother genuinely didn't think he needed my help, but as you guys can tell, the man was struggling. <laughs> this is actually the first time I ever spot anyone and I was so freaking scared. And what's funny is that he wanted to go again, which I don't know why he did because the second time was even worse. I wish you guys were there. Like he was literally looking at me like, help, help, help. <laughs> like I locked eyes with him and genuinely thought to myself, bro is not making it to dinner. I was so fucking scared. Finally, it's my turn to work out. I'm gonna do some hip thrusts first, which I hate doing hip thrusts because the setup is freaking, uh, it just takes too long, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I literally dropped 45 pounds on my foot and literally currently right now, I have a fat bruise on my foot. So in conclusion, make sure you're careful, unlike me. Anyways, before I do hip thrusts, of course, you always wanna do a little practice set with absolutely no weights, just to make sure you get the form down. You are gonna be putting a lot of weight on you, so you wanna make sure you're practicing, you know? For this, I'm gonna be doing three sets of 10. I'm doing a weight that's 
pretty heavy for me, so I want to make sure that I'm not doing way too many, but I still want to reach a certain threshold. So I think 10 is a good number. My biggest tips for doing hip thrusts is to make sure your chin is always tucked in, make sure you're hinging at your hip, and also when you get to your last rep, always hold it. At least hold it for three seconds if you can. If you can do five, do five. This is how you get your butt to really burn. Next up, we're gonna take off a little bit of the weight. For this, we're gonna do some B stance hip thrust, which means you're basically hip thrusting with one leg at a time. This really helps target each glute individually. You just wanna go on a regular hip thrust stance, put one foot forward, and put all the pressure on the working butt. This workout honestly burns so good. Next up, we're gonna do some RDLs. You guys have seen me do this the other day, but I love doing this. It feels so good, and I'm really trying to work on my form. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, that is it for today's glute focus workout. It's honestly not that many workouts, but this workout still burns your ass like crazy. So today is a shoulder day and tries. I honestly don't do tries very often, but definitely I love doing shoulders. I think it's so fun. But today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday and for Fridays, I usually do legs or like lower body. It really depends on my mood. In recent days, I've been really enjoying upper body. So sometimes I do upper body instead on Friday. So if I'm being honest, I feel like the last day of working out, like the fifth day is always just whatever I'm feeling. But today is the last day I'm gonna film just because tomorrow's workout is gonna be either legs or something else but it's gonna be a lot of workouts you guys have already seen so I just don't want to re-record let me show you guys what I'm wearing for today don't mind my laundry I gotta fold all of that stuff but um, I'm wearing my zip up jacket thing from Amazon I'm wearing my sports bra which is from white fox boutique this is such a cute sports bra I wish I had more colors and it honestly makes your boobs look so freaking nice then I'm wearing my blue Arola shorts as you guys can tell I love wearing Arola shorts which you literally can just get on Amazon and it makes your butt look so cute as for shoes I have not decided yet. Anyways, let's go to the gym and have a good workout. Moving on to shoulder and tries. Now, y'all thought I was a noob at back and by. Oh, just wait till you see this workout. First thing I'm doing is a little stretchy stretch. As you guys know, this stick is my best friend because it really stretches my back out. Moving on, we're gonna do a little seated dumbbell shoulder press. This workout honestly works your shoulders so good. I'm still very weak though, but I'm hoping that one day I can really do 20 pounds on each arm. And that's gonna be a long time from today, but you know, good manifesting. No cap. That should have me winded. Next up, we're gonna do a little superset. First thing we're gonna do is a shoulder front raise. We're gonna do 10 of those. Then we're gonna superset it with 10 lateral raises. I'm gonna go ahead and do this for three sets. So the last shoulder workout is this high face pull. I know I look so weird doing this and most people like to do the face pull like not as high as this. I know I look cuckoo, but honestly, I feel like this works way better than the regular face pull. I literally feel it in my shoulders, my upper back. Like if there's a workout that is a staple for me, it has to be this one. Next up, we're gonna do some cable pull downs. These work the triceps. It's definitely a newer workout I've been doing, but tell me why every time I work my triceps, my face makes this face. Like I wish I could do this cute, but I literally look like I'm like pooping myself. So this is gonna be the last workout. I'm gonna do some tricep kickbacks. I literally did the lowest weight ever and my triceps were dying. This one is a staple for me now. And that is my week of workouts. Like I said, I'm not showing you guys tomorrow's workout. It's gonna be something you guys have already seen. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know, I literally look like such a noob doing workouts. But you know what? Everybody starts somewhere. And if everybody was perfect at working out when they first started, um, I don't know where I was going with that. But practice makes perfect. And it's gonna take time. And you know what? I'm going into this just happy that I made myself go to the gym in general. I'm just proud of myself for putting in effort for my health, my wealth, my happiness my physical being literally just showing up for yourself is better than not going at all trying is better than not trying so i'm proud of myself let me know if you guys want any other videos from me let me know if you guys want a week of what i eat i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching that is it for my week of workouts i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next week bye Mwah.